COVID has taken this year, just since the outbreak, has taken more than 100 years. Look, here's the lives. It's just, it's, I mean, you think about it. Come on, man. You know, there's a, uh, during World War II, uh, you know, where Roosevelt came up with a thing uh, that, uh, you know, was totally different than a, then the, the, it's called, he called it the, you know, the World War II, he had the war, the, the war production board. Come on, man. And stop your boast about never being seen at what you, you know, you can do anything. You're, you, you always talk about your ability to negotiate. Negotiate a deal. Poor kids oh, are man. just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Come on, man. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. Come on, man. We have to take care of the cure. That will make the problem worse no matter what. Come on, man. No man has a right to raise a hand to a woman in anger other than in self-defense, and that's rarely ever occurs. Come on, man. I got hairy legs. Come on, man. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Come on, man. I'm going to beat Joe Biden. If you were at a fancy restaurant in Washington five, six years ago at an important business meeting and a gay or lesbian waiter came up or transgender, spoke with a lisp or demonstrated they were gay or lesbian, and someone at that luncheon table said, made fun of that person, no one would have said anything. Oh, man. So you brought condoms. What else did you bring? Look, this is not, but that, they... And then you sent these pictures. I don't, well, anyway, I, I don't believe there's anybody out there who believes that I have anything other than consistent interest in making sure every child has, these are all our children. You talk about taking her out to buy sexy bras and panties and thongs. Yeah. When I ask him about his obscene screen name, that he starts to laugh. Well, <laughs> do you think this is funny? You know, I'm, I'm just not going to go there. If we keep doing that, that's, I mean. There's something I got to tell you. I'm Chris Hansen, and I work for a show called Dateline NBC. Oh, come on, man. Have you taken a cognitive no, test? No, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? We got to, it's just, yeah. but you got to, I mean, the, uh, Make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night, the, the, the phone. Make sure the kids hear words. You're getting nervous, man. Gay, gay, gay bathhouse. Corn Pop was a bad dude. Go to Joe 30330. My physical and mental filth, my physical as well as my mental filth, fitness. But it's a way to be able to sleep with my wife. This set makes sense to, you know, I'm gonna put it another way. It makes no sense. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs. I mean, I don't know why, I don't know what. The, the, All men and women created by the goal, you know the, you know the thing. Come on, man. the candidate with the greatest advantage in this race. You've been the vice president. You weren't burdened down by the impeachment trials. So, how, or, in the participation. So how do you explain the performance in Iowa and why should the voters believe that you can win the national election? It's a good question. Number one, I was a Democratic caucus. You ever been to a caucus? No, you haven't. You're a lion dog face pony soldier. Lion dog face pony soldier. Lion dog face pony soldier. <laughs> Come on, man. 